Porsche Tuhi, Kana Kraka, Monica Villariano, Wetrish Kuchush, Moak Maloney Tribe, San Francisco Bay Area. Talk. Good day. I am Monica Villariano. I am the Vice Chairwoman for the Moak Maloney Tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. I will be reading our Moakma Ohlone Tribal Land Acknowledger. Moakma Wulwunam Wadim. Porsche we would like to acknowledge that while we gather for the Santa Clara Valley Open Space Authorities Discovering Coyote Valley Webinar 2, the past, present, and future stewards of Coyote Valley within the, count, within the counties of Santa Clara and Santa Cruz, we are gathered within the ethno-historic tribal territory of the intermarried Matatlan, Tamian, Ohlone speaking tribal groups, who include the direct ancestors of the lineages enrolled in the Moakma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. The present day Moakma Ohlone tribe with an enrolled Bureau of Indian Affairs documented membership of over 600 members is comprised of all the known surviving Indian lineages Aboriginal to the San Francisco Bay region who trace our tribe's ancestry through the missions Santa Clara, San Jose, and San Francisco during the advent of the Hispano-European Empire into Alta California beginning in AD 1769. The enrolled Moakma tribal families are the legal successors and living members of the sovereign, historic, previously federally recognized Verona Band of Alameda County, now formally recognized as the Moakma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. Moakma means la gente, the people, in our traditional Chocheno Ohlone language. The land on which Coyote Valley is established was and continues to be of great importance and significance for our Moekma Ohlone tribal people. This region extends to surrounding areas that held several Tupentoks, traditional semi-subterranean spiritual roundhouses, which were once located within our ancestral Thamian Ohlone speaking tribal villages in this valley. Tupentoks were places of healing, rituals, dances, intertribal trade feasts, celebration, and religious ceremonies. Nearby, many ancestral heritage shell mound sites served as our tribe's territorial monuments and traditional cemetery sites, constructed as earth mounds for high lineage families, craft specialists, and fallen warriors. The region surrounding the county of Santa Clara, where Coyote Valley is located, is where many of our ancestral heritage cemetery and village sites are located. These localities are viewed as special and sacred places, and we respectfully acknowledge that they have been previously settled and controlled by our ancestral Moekma tribal groups for many thousands of years. Today, our Moekma Ohlone tribal leadership and members work as stewards for many of our 10,000 year old ancestral heritage village and cemetery sites such as the IBM site, CASCL-62, the deeply stratified site, CASCL-178, going back almost 10,000 years at Metcalf Road and Highway 101, the Three Wolves site, CASCL-732, that our tribe named Kapan Hunikma by Highway 101 and 85 Interchange, and at the 8,000-year-old at Murphy Springs site, CASCL-671, which we have named Huntak, Ganak, Tak, meaning place of the ancient spring site. Coyote Valley, known as Mayan Huayi in our Chocheno Tamian language, is within our ethno historic and intermarried Matatlan, Thamian, Ohlone speaking tribal territories in Santa Clara County, which, based upon the 18 unratified federal treaties of 1851 to 1852, include the unceded ancestral lands of the Moekma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. Some of the enrolled Moekma lineages are descended from direct ancestors from the intermarried Thamian tribal groups, whose ancestors had affiliation with missions Santa Clara, San Jose, and San Francisco. It is important that we not only recognize the history of the land of the intermarried Matatlan, Thamian, Ohlone speaking tribal region on which we gather to participate, learn and honor, but also recognize that the first people of this region, Makmoekma or Moekma Ohlone people are alive and thriving members of the greater Santa Clara and broader Bay Area communities today. Even though our tribe was denied a land base due to the gross negligence of derelict BIA officials after we were first federally recognized in 1906, 
It is because of the tenacity and strength of our ancestors and elders that our people have been able to maintain our identity and traditions and keep our culture and language alive. Furthermore, our Moak Maloney families have never left our indigenous ancestral lands. Today, we repair the sustained damages of over 251 years of colonization. We are focused on keeping our traditional culture strong while we work for a bright and favorable future for our children as we follow in the footsteps of our ancestors. We respectfully request that the citizens of Santa Clara County and surrounding towns strive to be good stewards on behalf of the Muagma Ohlone tribe by maintaining the bay, fresh waterways, native plants, animal habitats, and the air we all breathe. Furthermore, we request that the counties of Santa Clara, Santa Cruz, and surrounding towns honor the military services of the Muakma men and women who have served honorably overseas during World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Iraq, and who are still serving in the United States Armed Forces today, and honor the tribal veterans and service members from California, North, and South America who have served this country with dignity and honor. In closing, it is of great importance to acknowledge the significance of Jorge Juarez, beautiful land to the indigenous Muwekma Ohlone people of this region. We ask everyone who visits Coyote Valley, Santa Clara County, Santa Cruz County, and surrounding towns to be respectful of these Aboriginal lands and natural habitats within our traditional homeland. And consistent with our principles of community, inclusion, and diversity, strive to be good stewards on behalf of the Muwekma Ohlone tribe on whose land you are guests. We thank you. And on behalf of the Muak Maloney tribe, we hope that you celebrate, honor, and stand in solidarity with all indigenous people with their struggles to reverse the adverse colonial legacies affecting all people of color in Santa Clara County, Santa Cruz County, the Greater Bay Area, California, the United States, and the Americas as we gather and reflect on the sacred lands of the Muak Maloney tribe. Aho, thank you. Horshe Tuhi, good day. My name is Charlene Nijme, and I'm the chairwoman for the Mowak Maloney tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. I would like to thank Open Space Authority for inviting us to be on this panel today. The Mowak Maloney tribe has been working for the last 40 years to receive federal recognition but the tribe has always been working to be recognized locally in places like Coyote Valley and with organizations like the Open Space Authority. And what do we mean by local recognition and why that is so important to us? Our people were taken by force from many of the villages in the Bay Area to the missions, San Jose, Santa Clara, and Dolores. The Mowekma Ohlone tribe today represents 600 direct descendants from a distinct tribal band that was identified back in 1906, living on the lands owned by Phoebe Hurst. This was in the Sonol area in the East Bay around Mission San Jose. And since our people lived near the Verona Railroad Station, a federal agent labeled us the Verona Band. That name Verona, really is a perfect example of how little the federal government cared about the treatment and welfare of the California Indians who, who just survived a genocide so horrific, it wiped out over 97% of our population. We barely survived the destruction of our villages, the enslavement of our people, the diseases, the homelessness, the theft of our children and the bounties on our heads. And after all that, when Congress in 1906, 1914 and 1927 mandated land be purchased for the destitute homeless Indians of California, one federal agent without visiting us, without interviewing us, without asking the locals labeled us as the Verona Band. The tribe had long been called many things depending on the context. The Mission San Jose tribe, band or Indians, the Pleasanton Indians, the local Indian Ohlone Indians, or the local tribe or Indians. What the tribe was never called by anyone outside of the Indian agency. And they only, just, and they only 
did this so for a few years was the Verona Band. To the contrary, historians, linguists, local non-Indians and tribal members continue to use the various names above, which had been used throughout our history. That label they gave us, Verona Band, is why we need to educate the people about our history, who we were, where we came from, and why the Mwekma Ohlone tribe isn't recognized today. Not only did they misname us, name our tribe, but they also decided to take us off the list of tribes to receive land and left us landless, living and working on other people's lands just to survive. They tried to erase us. That disregard for our welfare and our identity continues today. The government refuses to restore our status as a federally recognized tribe, even though they admit we were federally recognized and never terminated. Tribal nations ceded millions of acres of land that made the United States what it is today, and in return, received the guarantee of ongoing self-government on their own lands. But in the case of Mwekma, the government broke that guarantee. They erased us because we were living on valuable real estate. First, they found gold. Then came the tech companies making our land too valuable to give up. The truth is that our ancestors have inhabited these lands for 10,000 years, and we never understood the concept of land ownership. Land gave us life, and we were entrusted to protect the land for future generations. When our tribe formally organized in the 80s in order to make voice, our voices heard, it wasn't celebrated by the community of the Bay Area. People did not want to accept us as the tribe of this area. Academics, cities, archeologists denied us the rights that we have as sovereign people. That is what I mean by local recognition. We often say to people, we are still here and we never left. We call this the politics of erasure and we deal with this every day. But we did have some rights as the descendants of the first peoples of these lands that couldn't, couldn't be ignored when the construction projects in the Bay Area would encounter the burial grounds of our ancestors. Our tribe had to be notified as the most likely descendant. Through the work of reburials, we documented and researched our past and asserted our connection to our ancestors. And one of these sites is right here in Coyote Valley by the IBM buildings. Our ancestors, the Matalan Tami and Ohlone lived here. Today, we are still fighting for federal recognition in Washington, DC, but we need local support and local partnerships. We need your voices to amplify our voices. We need your voices to let the federal government know that we do have the support of our communities and that justice matters now more than ever. Our people have been without land for more than 200 plus years. We have been disconnected from the knowledge that the plants and animals give us. So we are grateful to be included in the planning and the uh, planning around Coyote Valley and to form this partnership with Open Space Authority. Our goal in the years ahead is to reconnect with the land by gathering, tending, farming, and being together as a people on our ancestral homelands. Thank you again for the opportunity to share a piece of our history. Thank you.